Hi, my name is Maisha Florence and I'm a pre-licensed marriage and family therapist. The population I work with currently is mostly couples, although I do have experience working with individuals and adolescents. I was one of those people that have always been a counselor for my family, for my peers. You know, growing up in the church, I was always one who kind of was praying for others. I did some lay counseling in the church for teens and adolescents. So um, it wasn't until my adult life where I experienced about with depression in my own personal life that I came to uh, counseling professionally. I actually went through this experience where uh, my husband and I had experienced a loss of a child mm -hmm. and I went through a period of depression and uh, through much prayer and introspection I uh, received a word from God to, that I should go to school and so I entered into a, uh, a Christian school for a marriage and family therapy program and uh, the rest is history, so to speak. I, I think that hands down the most challenging issue that couples face is communication. Everything falls under that umbrella, whether it be finances, parenting, sex, um, everything falls under communication and how we communicate or do not communicate about those issues. And so primarily I work with couples and, and their communication. A lot of people think they're good communicators because they can talk because they can use a lot of words. And that does not a good communicator make. The fact that you can say a lot of words in a short period of time doesn't mean you're a good communicator. How you listen and your ability to apply, apply the information is what makes you a good communicator. And a lot of times couples miss that piece. So we take a lot, we spend a lot of time in session focused on how we listen. Um, Focus on being quiet and sitting with those emotions because that's where we find we're most uncomfortable. Sitting with those feelings and, and not being able to explain them away with words. You know, so I help couples do that quite often. 